In question two of our quadratic inequality series, we ended off with the following, where it asks, an object is propelled straight up from the ground level with an initial velocity of 80 feet per second. This should read ground. Its height at time t is modeled by the following equation, negative 16t to the power of 2 plus 80t, where the height, s of t, is measured in feet and time is measured in seconds. In which time interval will the object be more than 64 feet above the ground? What we have to do is set s of t greater than 64. So technically, our equation is negative 16t to the power of 2 plus 80t is greater than 64. We have to do the exact same thing we did in question number 1, following the five steps that you see. Let's start with step number one, which says express the inequality in the form f at x is greater than zero or f at x is less than zero. So let's go ahead and do that. All you have to do is bring the 64 over to all the other terms and you end up with negative 16t squared plus 80t minus 64. And all of this is greater than zero. Step number two, we have to solve this quadratic. And we can solve this quadratic either by common factoring or the quadratic formula. You'll notice that each of these terms has 16 in common. So if I pull out minus 16, this term becomes t squared, this term becomes minus 5t, and this term becomes positive 4. This is greater than 0. I can now common factor this part, what two numbers multiply to 4 and add to negative 5. I'm thinking negative 4 and negative 1. Solving for t, I should end up with a t value of 4 and a t value of positive 1. Once you find your two solutions, you write them on a number line. So we have t is equal to 1 and t is equal to 4. This segments our number line into three parts. We have the boundary negative infinity to positive 1, the boundary 1 and 4, and the boundary 4 to positive infinity. We have to find out what happens in between these segments. So we pick a number between 1 and 4, say for example 2, and we substitute 2 into our equation. If we do that, you should end up with a number that is positive. So all numbers between 1 and 4, excluding 1 and 4, are positive. If you place a number that's greater than 4 into this equation, you should end up with a negative number. Similarly, a negative number for this boundary. So only numbers between 1 and 4 make this inequality true. That's the answer to question number 2, and that is how to solve a quadratic inequality.